Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel, my name's Ollie 43 and today I'm going to be talking about Twitch TV and the possibility of Twitch being purchased by YouTube for $1 billion. Now this is not 100% confirmed at this time I'm making this video, although you may see an announcement by the time you're watching this, but at this time it's just a speculation and a little bit of rumour I suppose. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, it's going to be about me talking about the implications to you the viewer and me as a content creator and the benefits and negatives to this acquisition. So I hope you guys enjoy, but let's begin the video. So before I begin this video, I would like to say if you guys are interested in Twitch and you watch Twitch on a daily basis or maybe you check it out occasionally, I do have my own Twitch channel. I haven't done anything on there at the moment, but you never know in the future. So you can follow me. I don't have a partnership. I don't have a subscribe feature or anything like that. But if you're interested on Twitch and you're interested in me doing live streaming in the future, go ahead and follow me. If there's a lot of people that end up following me, I might start doing live streams on a daily basis or something. So I just, like, I've never really talked about it all that much. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested in that. There's a link in the description. Um, so there's many good and bad features or reasons why this acquisition would be a good and bad thing. Um, I'm going to go over them briefly in this video to keep it short. Um, so first of all, the good features from both sides. So the acquisition of these two businesses could mean we could have the good features from either side move on to the other platform. For example, the chat system on Twitch is brilliant. I absolutely love it. And that would be amazing to come over to YouTube live streaming or, you know, just just to improve the comment section. That would just be amazing. Next would be the subscribe button on Twitch to come over to YouTube. Now, I don't know what you guys feel about this, but I really like the idea of paying to remove ads. $2 a month is not much money. Um, it might be for some of you, I don't really know, but $2 for me, for my favorite content creator, I would definitely pay if they upload daily videos or you know multiple times a day. I wouldn't mind paying $2 a month to not watch ads because like, if I had the choice, I'd rather not watch ads and I'd rather pay $2 than not watch ads. So. It would be amazing to see that feature come over to YouTube. I can't imagine it would, because that's whole that's the whole Google <laughs> business model is advertising. Um, but you know, YouTube's its own entity within Google, so it could it could potentially become a feature, and it would be really cool to see what happens. Um, another thing is VOD, so Twitch VOD system. That's video on demand. The searching of videos is terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. So the optimization of getting YouTube's technology search functionality over to Twitch would be brilliant. I mean, YouTube's always changing and optimizing uh, their search function anyway, but to cross-pollinate and have that technology over to Twitch would be really, really good and would make Twitch a much better service for gaming content creators. Like, if they had a good VOD system, it would be, you know, I think it would work much better as a service. Um, so those are all the good things like <laughs> there isn't that many good reasons but those are pretty good in themselves but there's some bad reasons why this acquisition would be a bad idea and they are as follows so one bad thing is competition there's nothing worse than having no competition for a business so if you really like a restaurant and it's the only restaurant in town they don't have to actually make that good food or they can bump up the price as much as possible because they're the only business in town. And if you want to, like, there's no other option for you to go anywhere else. So by YouTube acquiring Twitch, that's kind of the whole, like, there's not many other options. And no competition means lazy service, in my opinion. So competition is a good thing. And that, and this acquisition would remove that. Another thing is music. So Twitch really is laid back with music and third party copyright and things. I don't necessarily agree with it all, ma ma all that much. I don't think it's fair to use third party music on streaming. Um, like radio, I think pays licensing, although I'm not too sure on that. And I think that's fair. Um, like I don't see why it's fair for me to use someone else's music creation to optimize and make my live streaming better. I don't really see the fairness in that. So that's one thing, um, like all the streamers that use music in their live streams would have to stop doing that if YouTube had anything to do with it, I think. And donations, I like donations is a big part of Twitch. A lot of streamers have a donation thing and um, they use their PayPal or other means. So I suspect if YouTube acquired Twitch, they would have their own donation integration. 
and it would basically take a 10% cut or a 20% cut or a 30% cut for the donation thing because at the moment Twitch has, you know, they're paying for the bandwidth, they're paying for you to live stream and when you donate to somebody you're not actually giving Twitch any money which I kind of think's a bit unfair I suppose um, so I suspect if YouTube had anything to do with it um, it would you know, they would take a cut of that donation, which is bad for the user and the person donating the money. So, yeah, those are the main bad things. So, overall, I still think it would be a good idea. I really do. Um, there's a lot of technologies that I'd like to see come from both. And also, it does kind of mean to me that YouTube believes in gaming as a platform. Like, gaming is the biggest VOD on YouTube. It gets the most views per month. But by them spending a million dollars on ac uh, acquiring a gaming live streaming service, it really means Google's going, or YouTube's going, hell, like this is a business that is going to make money and is going to flourish in the few years to come. So it really puts faith into, or shows faith from YouTube in the whole Twitch gaming live streaming service. So um, there we go. Love to hear your thoughts, guys. Get in that comment section and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Take care.